Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Um, this story had a little bit of a morning. Uh, my alarm didn't go off. I'm running behind. I apologize. Um, life isn't perfect, and that is okay. And that is something that Miss Tori struggles with, is when things aren't perfect for me. So I'm feeling a little off this morning. And I have to remind myself that it is okay not to be perfect. And I just want to remind you that I don't expect any of you to be perfect because the world is imperfect, meaning not perfect. And although I like to be perfect, I would never expect you to be perfect. Because Miss Tori has way too high standards for herself. And I don't expect anyone to be perfect. You are perfect the way you are. And I love you for it. So it is okay to not be perfect. Miss Tori, that's for you too. It is okay not to be perfect. It is okay to have a day that is not okay. And it will be okay at the end. Just a reminder for this snowy, at least for me, to Thursday. <laughs> Let's take a look at our schedule, friends. All right. So our schedule for today, our daily routine is the same. Um, today is Thoughtful Thursday. Go on a gratitude scavenger hunt with your loved ones. This is something that I am most definitely going to do today. Gratitude means like being thankful. So if you click on this link, it'll be a bigger picture of what I have down here for some things for you to look for today. And believe me, I will be doing this today too. Today from one to three, there will be live learning help for the school. Um, from three to four, I'll be having, well, like probably three to three thirty. I'll be having our story time. So a story with an activity. And then from five to eight is live learning help um, for K through 12. And a reminder to my third graders, just my third graders, um, we have that workshop this morning at 10 o'clock. Um, Check-ins, uh, today I already met with Blake. I'm meeting with Devin at two. Tomorrow I will meet with Caleb and Kendall at noon, Annabelle at 1.30, Wyatt at 1.45, Gabby and Harmony at three. Our check-in challenge is still to share one exciting thing that happened over our four-day weekend. Uh, children's events today at one o'clock, there is an online succulent sculpture class with Paint Party by Sarah. At uh, seven o'clock is Good Night with Dolly. I believe tonight is Llama Llama Red Pajama, which is one of my favorites. I know, I say that all the time, but my sister loves Llama Llama. So we read a lot of Llama Llama in my house in Llama Llama Red Pajama is our favorite. And then at eight o'clock, um, I do not have cable, so I can't watch this, but I would if I could. There's a Disney family sing-along at eight o'clock on ABC. And daily events, the art and craft tutorial, the home safari, and the Zoom dance live bedtime story. All right, and our sign language. We have learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O. Today is P. P kind of looks like G a little bit, but it's a little bit different. So G is like this. P, loosey goosey, palm up. Bring it over, okay. And then we're going to 
bring our pinky and our um, ring finger in. And we are going to put our thumb and our tall man together and let out the pointer. So how G is just like, like we tuck all of them in, but let the um, pointer out. With P, we have the same thing, but we bring our tall man out and put our thumb on top of it. So instead of tucked in, they are out. So P, P. And we've learned A is for apple, B is for banana, C is for cat, D is for dog, E is for Easter, F is for friends, G is for giggle, H is for happy, I is for I as in me, J is for Japan, K is for kindness, L is for learn, M is for music, N is for neighbor, O is for ocean or sea. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any. P is for please. So to say please, we put our right hand on our heart and make little circles. P is for please. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. Remember, perfect does not exist and just be you.